Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to automate common EC2 tasks using System Manager's run command. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 dashboard, then click on Launch Instance and select the number of instances. Give your instances a name, select an AMI, instance type, and a key pair. I'm going to leave all the network settings to default, then expand the advanced details section and click on create new IAM profile. Click on create role, then choose EC2 under common use cases, then hit next. Search for SSM and select the Amazon SSM managed instance core policy, then hit next. Give your role a name, then hit the Create Role button. Head back to the EC2 window and select the IAM profile that we just created, then hit Launch Instance. If you click on View All Instances, you should see both our prod servers in pending state now. Next, let's head to the Tags tab and add an environment tag to both our servers. I'm also going to call my first server prod server one and the second server prod server two. Let's SSH into our first prod server using EC2 instance connect, then run the top command so we can monitor the CPU utilization. As you can see, the current CPU utilization is 0%. Let's repeat these steps for the prod server two. Next, Let's head to the Systems Manager service, then click on Run Command in the left menu. Search for the stress keyword in the Command Document search bar, then select AWS Run CPU Stress. Go inside this document, then hit Run Command. For duration, I'm going to select 120 seconds, and for load percent, I'm going to leave it at 100. For instance tags, I'm going to select environment and specify the value as prod, so both my prod servers get picked up. For rate control concurrency, I'm going to select 100%, so the stress task is executed on both my targets at the same time. Let's uncheck the enable an S3 bucket option, then hit run. Give it some time and the overall status should change to in progress with the number of targets being two. Navigate to the EC2 connect window and confirm that the CPU utilization of both your prod servers should now be close to 100%. If I cancel my stress command, the CPU utilization should go back to 0%. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.